How's it going? This is Roger Cruz, Roger Cruz Marketing. Thank you for watching. Um, so basically this is my website and I'm going to show you guys how to make it so that you have to allow people into your member area. So it's like uh, if it's for a paid thing or anything like that. So basically this is my site. You can see that we still need to log in. I'm going to go into the editor version of my site. I'm going to go here to pages and menus. The pages and menus in the far left side of this column, you'll see member pages. Go ahead and click that. Now you'll see all your member pages here. And then you go into uh, right here, this little setting symbol. It says actions when you hover over it. Click that. Go into this separate menu. Third option down. It's going to say member sign up settings. Click that. Now right here in your general settings. Who can be a member? Right now I'm set to everyone. I'm going to switch it to people I approve. And then which option shows up first? New member sign up or existing member login. I'm going to do it with existing member login. That'll be easier for people who um, are purchasing and are used to logging in on a regular basis. And then done. Awesome. out of that it's rainy out so a little slow here we go cool perfect and then um publish your site with the changes being made to make it live once it comes to here pretty much good um let's go to view site Reopen it, close the copy we had open earlier. And now I'm going to try to log in as a visitor. I guess it's a little rainy out. Give me if my computer's taking a second. Log in. Taking a little bit, and here we go. Cool. So this will bring us to the login page. All right, we need to sign up. And uh, we are going to sign up with an email. I am going to sign up with, don't believe I made this email sign up yet, so I'm going to try it, I'm going to do a, type in the password, oh, no, I already signed up with that email, so I've got another email we can use for the example. Awesome. Oh, I used that one too. All right, I've got another email we can use. Uh, uh, I think actually, actually, yeah, I, I definitely have one. in sure save it um success i need to be approved in see so that's because we put the settings that way and then you as the business owner in your dashboard i believe it's going to be here under customer management let's see 